<laughs> My God. It's like the best sausage rolls ever I've ever had. I've ever had. Jesus Christ! It's like every mouthful. It's like a taste of heaven. Yeah, that's right. I'm a McBang channel now. <laughs> How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Before we get into today's video, there is new merch. New merch is in the store, and I'm actually excited about this one. I think it's great. New merch, you've been asking for it. It's in the store. Go. And with that being said, uh, let's get on with today's video. The birds and the bees. Love making. At some times in our lives, we become old enough to learn about sex education. My sex education was non-existent in school. I literally learned everything I know from the internet. <laughs> and all I did was put a condom over a banana. How's that gonna help? I'm gonna go out there into the world and go up to girls in clubs and try and hit them with bananas. No! <laughs> Although that would be pretty funny. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at um, how far we have come. Today uh, you guys have suggested that I watch some old school sex education PSA videos which are just terrible. Let's watch it. This one's from the 1980s. <laughs> she's like one. Like she's just been born. Why is she in a sex education video? Oh god, the fashion. The fashion. I'm sorry, but there, there's still like two. It shouldn't be in this video. I'm sorry, but the, the young one here, she's like dressed like Meg Griffin. I to tell me she's not dressed like Meg Griffin from Family Guy. Shout out, Meg. Oh God, bicycles were hideous back then, weren't they? Oh, and not only that. <laughs> But look at the denim, the denim. Nothing but denim and perm. Look at it. Why would any girl just draw a love heart on an A4 piece of paper and tape it to a wall? <laughs> That's not a cool poster. Hello, I'm Angela. And you have creepy ass dolls everywhere. Angela, what's going on? And over the next few sessions, we're going to be together, talking about you growing up. I don't want to talk about me growing up, you weird old lady. Huh? Body, it's changes. The only changes going on in my body is my stomach going outwards. That's it, love. I don't know what to tell you. Not more. And I think you're going to find it fascinating. Everything is based on love. You ain't been to the club, have you? Lady, you've not been to the club. But if we're talking about love, then I'm just gonna eat more of the sausage roll because this is love right here. This is love. Jesus! The person who loves us most of all is God. Oh gee, I thought, you know what? I thought it was going here. I kind of guessed it. Irish, Catholic, yeah, I get it. So let's start by asking him to help us to understand about it all. God ain't gonna tell me how to lay it down, is he? Talk to God before I have sex, that's weird. He'd be up there like, dude, I, I made you just get on with it. <laughs> Stop asking me. <laughs> Dear Lord, I want to invite you to be with us as we talk together about growing up. No, you weird lady. Don't invite some random mythical dude down to our sex session. Is he there in the corner whilst you're doing it? He's just there with like a camera like, bend her over. <laughs> because you are the inventor of people. You are the one best able to understand us and help us to understand and love one another. Nah, if you look throughout history, God hasn't exactly been that helpful, huh? There was a time where if we built a tower too tall, according to your book, he'd have us killed and descend us with plague. Is that sexual intercourse? I love how they have to overlay that on a picture of marriage. Like that exists now. So, this is Never mind about your wedding and your sexual intercourse. Like, take care of your daughter. She looks miserable as shit. <laughs> Look at her. The newlywed couple here, and they're showing their love for each other by lovemaking. What? In no, that's not lovemaking. They're cuddling. This would be a whole different picture drawn <laughs> if they were lovemaking. And their daughter's there! Do I have to point that out? Lovemaking just means making each other feel loved. So wait. You can put it that way, or you can just say aroused. 
Stop being such a prude. Well, you give them kisses and hugs and you hold them close. But between a man and a woman, it's a bit different. Because when they hold each other really close and give a long kiss and a warm... What, she's in the nursing home now? Why has she changed location? She's taken off her coat and she's talking to us now. Oh, shit. They tell each other that they're beautiful and everything like that. And they also have a bit of a laugh because they are the best of friends. And then something happens. In a very short time, because they're so close, the man feels his penis becoming erect. Can't, I can't eat a sausage when that's happening, can I? I can't. <clears throat> Straight, hard, and the sperm coming down into it. Like it did when he had a wet dream. I think you skipped a few steps, love. <laughs> it doesn't just happen like that, does it? You know, I don't just go, done. Like, <laughs> there's a process, there's a warm up period. Now, while the sperm is coming into the man's penis, the woman's body is getting ready to receive the sperm. Yeah, she's like this. <laughs> Oh, God, this is why I can't get a teaching job. <laughs> it's amazing, you know, how God made it. Because while they're making love and being happy together... To be honest, though, if you want to talk about God and how he made it, he could have made it a bit cleaner. And give the guy, like, a better G-spot, all right? Don't put it in a dark, dingy place. God! The woman feels her vagina becoming kind of slippery inside. Sorry, I need to grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Slippery? She's not an ice rink. So that the penis can easily slip in and out. No trouble. Is that what you say to your husband? Hey. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No trouble. <laughs> God. So he slips his penis into her vagina. Gives her the sperm. Oh, well, if her vagina looks like that, he's not going to go near it again. Is, is, that, is that an accurate demonstration, that? Hello. <laughs> the sperm. Then the penis slips out. Wow, is that it? No foreplay? That's depressing, love. Yeah? Maybe if you weren't wearing your curtains, your husband might do more. And that's called sexual intercourse. Some people call it having sex. So the man passes the sperm to the woman. And now his sperm is in her. I, I'll leave it for now. Like I'll maybe next one, I'll, next video. I'll maybe leave. you're wondering if a mistake could be made and a man could pass water instead of semen and sperm. I'm not a tap. Don't shoot Evian. <laughs> like what? What? Now, possibly you're saying to yourself, "Oh, I'll never do that. It's awful." No, no. Literally at 15, I was ready to smash. It's a terrible truth, but, you know, I was, I was ready. You know, most boys are. Because, you know, when you hear about it first, it sounds very strange, but God has made it really lovely. God, please. God, make it more exciting, please. I don't know if I want to be taught sex education from a nan in her fucking chair. I don't know. It just seems to sit down with your nan and talk. <laughs> Rather Linda tell me. Linda! Actually, no, don't teach me sex ed. Just get back to work, Linda. An exciting and pleasant feeling. <laughs> That's it! That's it! <laughs> That's gonna be my outro video from now on! <laughs> Normally I just end on the merch screen. <laughs> But now all my videos, I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna end like this. Like, love, caress my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. <laughs> oh yes, yes. I've been looking for a new outro. <laughs> oh, I love that. I do. I don't care. We've been talking about dicks. That tastes great. All right, next video. We've been talking a lot about AIDS and you've been hearing about AIDS in the newspaper. You've heard it on the radio, television, and you've- Of course, these days we call him Trump.
some of you have even had classes on AIDS and what it's all about. So I'm going to ask you some questions and find out what you know about... Well, one thing that I've just learned is that when air stewardesses aren't on an aeroplane, they teach sex ed, apparently. <laughs> She's dressed like an air stewardess. <laughs> I don't know whether to, like, put my hand up and ask a question or ask for some peanuts. ...about the virus. First of all, what does the term AIDS stand for? <laughs> Yeah. Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, right. Right. I actually didn't know what it stood for. Now I do. I'm learning. I'm, I mean, I'm learning. Right. What does the term acquired mean? If you were to go down and acquire an automobile, would it all of a sudden just boop, be in your garage? Well, no, you've got to drive it back home first. What kind of question is that? I drive it home, right? Is that the answer? I mean, this girl looks fed up. She, she She's done with the world. She's like, I know what AIDS is. AIDS is this class. <laughs> no, you'd have to do something to get that car. You'd go down to the car lot, you'd pick out your automobile, you'd sign papers, maybe you'd put down some money and you'd drive it home. Is this related to sex still? Because I've never had to sign a contract or purchase a bitch. Like, I, <laughs> I just swipe right, okay? You'd acquire that car. Well, the AIDS virus is the same way. It's not gonna all of a sudden just be in your bloodstream. You have to do something in order to get that virus in. Yeah, you have to attend this class to get it. That's what you have to do. How is this sex ed? This is just fear mongering, okay? Scare kids out of sex, all right? Just tell them to put a condom on. Your bloodstream. How do you get the AIDS virus or HIV into your body? You get it when you have sex with another person. Uh huh. Has it. Okay, right. Mul oh man, this is like the most depressing sex ed class I think I've ever seen. And your chance of getting the virus increases with each successive partner that you have. However, you can get it the first time that you ever have sex with anybody if that person is infected with the virus. You ain't get it. You ain't got to worry, love, with that haircut. You you ain't got to worry. Trust, trust me. She's too stern. You know she needs to relax. Did Zeus make this or some shit? This one is really controversial. You're not going to like it at all. Oh, all right. Now I'm listening. Kissing someone that has it. Okay, so would you say deep French kissing? Yeah. I mean, where you really go for it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That kind of kissing can put you at risk for this virus because the virus has been. <laughs> my man, my man knows. <laughs> When your friend tells you that he didn't win the gulag match in Modern Warfare? Virus. Because the virus has been caught. <laughs> oh, God, that needs to be a meme. Cultured from the saliva of people with AIDS, especially toward the end stages of the disease, because they have more of the virus in their body fluids. What was that? Emilio at the back of the classroom was channeling another universe. More of the virus in their body fluids. What was that sound? <laughs> Was he being contacted or something? What's wrong with him? But they were there. At your 20 year reunion from high school, they're gonna be empty chairs because they will have died of AIDS. I don't want sex ever again. Congratulations, you've, you've done your job. Bitch don't know what she's talking about. I mean, yeah, practice safe sex. Teach them realistically about safe sex. Don't scare them. Don't walk into the classroom like you're cosplaying as fucking blue tack. It's too much. Uh, talk to the issue of uh, uh, having safe sex. I think this whole issue of safe sex is indeed a myth. This took a weird turn, didn't it? Why is safe sex a myth? How does how is that possible? Um, it could slip off or break. Okay. It's kind of like you can think of it in terms of Russian roulette. What is it? One in six that you're gonna die? Jesus Christ! None of these kids had children. None of them! When you use a condom, it's like you're playing Russian roulette. There is- Jesus Christ, were condoms like that bad back then or something? Isn't it like a million to one or something that they break? Before in their life. So just picture it's as if you're all crawling into one bed together. Oh shit! <laughs> She's already done that, you can tell! Look at her face! Crawling into one bed together. <laughs> she likes that idea. She's not put off. What if I want to have sex before I get married? Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. What? What if I want to have sex before I get married? Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die.
can't say that. This woman just needs a good, you know, she not a punch. <laughs> you know, she needs some of that. She just needs a good time. It was a different time, like when um, HIV and AIDS um, started to come out, there was just so much confusion. There, there were so many good films, um, like Dallas Buyers Club and Philadelphia, that really sort of cover the um, terror that people felt around this disease. There was so much fear, like you think the coronavirus was bad. I would rather have AIDS and have the relationship that I have with Jesus Christ than not have AIDS and not know Jesus at all. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? Sorry, but if you're gonna have that mentality, I, I can't, I can't, I can't deal. Guys, uh, that was um, cringy, terrible, religious um, sex ed videos. There's probably a bunch more, but I can't find any at the moment. Hope you guys are staying safe whilst you're in quarantine and not going outside, not having any sex, cause you'll DIE! Remember, new merch, link in description. Go get your new merch, let's dazzle. And I will see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.